Hi, broadcasting live from Ahihik, Mexico. I'm Bill the Geek, and this is the Bill Dallas Lewis channel. Welcome, everybody. We got four people in the house and six lights. That's pretty good. Crapo Crapo is in the house from New Jersey, and I want to tell everybody. I want to tell everybody happy 4th of July. Eat some ribs and some corn on the cob and some cheeseburgers for me. Happy 4th of July coming up just in a couple of days. James and Reno, James and Rena in the house. CMT 63 in the house. Christine Prowse from Montana in the house. Woo, by the way, Bill, the strike protest and all over, okay, so you, okay, okay, good for you. Gene and John in the house. Hello, everybody. Skyrider, Skyrider in the house and in the house from Tucson, monsoon season. Queen Jones from Seattle. We've got we got people in the house from coast to coast. Dr. John in New Jersey and Queen Jones in Seattle. And we got Russ Shrewsbury Rush in the house. We have a lot to cover today, a lot going on today. This is my, uh, this is my last broadcast from Ahihik. The last broadcast from Ahihik on one day this week, I'm leaving, headed to Mazatlan and CMT 63. That would be Chris and Mark are coming back to this beautiful home. It's so well located in Ahihik. They're going to have a great time here. Skyrider, James and Rena, good luck on the sale. Just sold, sold mine in Colorado. And speaking of Skyrider, Skyrider has quite a story. Skyrider and his wife, they contacted me uh, early in the week and, and we had breakfast. I think it was on Monday. No, we had lunch. And uh, so what I did was I walked down to the plaza so that I could meet them and I'd never met them before this this happens to me a lot and hello Ken from Gain from Gatesville Texas Don Cole is in in the house watching from Jamaica I communicated with her this morning but anyway Skyrider uh him and, and so I'm walking to the plaza. I've never met them before. We have an appointment at noon uh, uh, to get together for some lunch. And uh, this is the, now I'm at the plaza in Ahihik. It's a beautiful place. The weather is great. And let's see if I can fast forward this just a little bit. Just, there they are. There they are. They're Sky Rider and his wife, Marilyn. And we went to a restaurant. Uh, we went to a restaurant uh, on the plaza, and it was great. We stayed there for three hours, and we talked about so many fabulous things. They are such positive people. We had so much to talk about. And uh, I tell you, uh, you know, I make these videos. I live in Mexico because I love Mexico. It's so open here. And when, when you move down here, it's almost like all of your baggage just goes away. All of a sudden, you get so much more happy. And, we, and, and they were so happy. They've moved here. They're living in San Antonio. And San Antonio is right between Chapala and Ahihik. It's probably about two miles from where I am right now. And we, and we were trying to identify why we were so happy. And to be, to be honest, I don't know if we ever came up with an answer, but we talked for three hours. They were such positive people, such loving people. And that's the only kind of people I want to be around. People like that. 
uh, loving, uh, positive thinking. And, and Skyrider, I found out that the reason his name is Skyrider is he flies in hot air balloons. <laughs> And he's been doing it for years. And they told me about uh, what they used to do for a living. And I could have stayed and talked with them for hours and hours and hours. But we stayed there for three hours. And I wish them the best of luck in their stay here in the Lake Chapala area nina ola nina shonda good morning bill watching from albuquerque new mexico senior mexico buenos dias from baltimore we have baltimore in the house the weather is great here one of our subscribers uh, you guys have seen her pop in here from time to time. Uh, her uh, her screen name is Pam the Nurse. She went on Robert's Mazatlan tour for a week. And she's still at the Reina Del Mar bed and breakfast. And she has extended her stay from a seven-day stay to a 23-day stay. She just can't leave the Reina Del Mar bed and breakfast one block from the Malikan, uh, one block from the beach, uh, and so she'll be there another week. She's under the weather right now. She picked up some kind of food poisoning, I think, but she's doing great. Here in Chapala, uh, here in Lake, in the Lake Chapala area, as Skyrider pointed out earlier, it's 66 degrees. For the last seven days, it's been raining every day, but the great news is that it only rains for about an hour and usually it's early in the morning or in the evening and then always the sun is out at two o'clock in the afternoon it goes up to about 80 degrees the chapala area is the greatest climate in the world many people say and pam the nurse down in mazatlan uh, with Robert right now, she said it's really hot there right now, but some people were more sensitive to heat than other people. So we have a lot to cover today. Uh, we did another video this week, and uh, we're going to be showing clips from that video. I'm very excited, and I know CMT63 is very excited because they've been packing stuff at their home in Florida for about two months now i talked to them yesterday uh but uh but i know they're excited i'm not going to say what day they're coming but they're coming here very soon jordan white in the house thanks for coming jordan uh but this week uh i i went to well uh i was in oxo right around the corner oxo is like two and a half blocks away and I go in there pretty much every day to buy stuff and I'm in there and the guy behind the counter is so friendly because he knows uh, Monica Ola Ola Monica happy to have you in the house from southern Indiana tell Mike Pence I said hello if you see him walking around but uh uh, so I'm in OXO, and for those of you that don't know what OXO is, it's like a 7-Eleven. And I'm in there like every day, and I always take a big bag with me because I buy milk and potato chips and a little bit of this and that. And this guy at OXO never fails. I go to the counter. I pay for my stuff. Then I grab my stuff, and I put it on the ice cream freezer so I can put it in my bag. And this guy... He knows exactly what I'm going to do. So, so after I buy my stuff, he he helps me put the stuff in my bag on the ice cream freezer. And so we've we've gotten to know each other a little bit. And and I said, "What's your name?" He says, "Oh, my name is Eduardo." And I said, "Eduardo, where do you live?" And he gave me the name for where he lives. 
And then he pulls out his cell phone and shows me YouTube videos about the town where he lives. And Ola Catherine from Spokane. Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you, Skyrider of 55. We will miss you here. I'll miss you too because you guys are great people. All the people that I have met in person down. Oh, Katrina the Maker. Good morning to Katrina the Maker. But all the people that I have met about down here have been wonderful people. I also got together with someone. Her name is Dawn. She had a bunch of questions. She's been here for a week. I met her at the plaza. We talked for a couple of hours. And she was enjoying her first week here. But anyway, Eduardo... That's the name of his town. Say that right there. And you can see Ahihik at the bottom of the map. And you can see the small town, the, the name of the small town above Ixla Hukan. Ixla Hukan is the name of the town. And on this map, it looks kind of far, actually, but it's not. I'm zoomed in on this map. So you, uh, there, the, there's a yellow line at the bottom, and that is a road, and it goes to the right, then it goes north, which is straight up, and that drive from Ahihik is about seven minutes. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Crapo, crapo. <laughs> crapo, crapo, yeah. Yeah, uh, uh. So, so anyway, it's like a seven minute drive. You would never know it's there. Even though it's right off of the main highway, you would never know it's there. And Dr. John, uh, the, uh, the reason you didn't, I, I made a video, I just posted the video yesterday. And in the video, I did not mention the name of the town. And you can see it. Here it is again. There's the name of the town. Ixla Hukan. Ix, Ixla Hukan. Okay. So, so we're going there. I call my cousin. I ask her. H is silent. Hua. Uh, uh, like W. Okay. Thank you very much. Senior Mexico. Thank you very much. So I go pick up my cousin Tulsi. She's a photographer. She's a professional photographer. And I pick her up. We go there. We didn't know where we were going. I could have used my GPS on my telephone, but there's this lady at a shop. I knew we were close, so I st I had written the name down on a piece of paper, and I, I showed her this piece of paper. Uh, she's a Mexican national. She owns a shop right on the freeway, and I said, where is this? And she pointed across the street. <laughs> it's a, it was not across the street it's across the freeway so we had to go down the freeway she told us how to go down the freeway make a u-turn and then i said well how do you say this how do you say this ixla uakan ixla uakan and and i repeated it to her about five or six times but it was, it was really very difficult for me to say but anyway uh, so we get into the town, and the town was fabulous. And here it is. That's my SUV right in front of the church there. And it was a beautiful, clean town. Uh, 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 you, you can see mountains in the background, and if you could look at the mountains to the right uh, of the church, which you can't see right now, Ahihik is on the other side of that mountain. And I went into the church, took videos in the church, and those were some of the best murals, some of the best uh, um, uh, uh, murals I've, I've ever seen in a church in Mexico. It was fabulous. Uh, and, and there's a little going around the town. The plaza is big. It's almost as big as the plaza in Guadalajara. 
so I, I'm, I'm doing my drone shots. The, the drone is up in the air. And I got some more drone shots. I got at least one more drone shot coming up. But uh, uh, so, so after, the, after my second drone flight, this, this guy comes up to me and he's uh he's an american he's about five foot seven so he he was a little shorter than me but his name was bob let's see oh here we go here's bob here's bob over there so as my drone is up in the air bob's over there uh checking me out so when my drone comes down uh oh we got problems over here on this side we got a little problem going on here we go here we go so uh when when my drone comes down bob has all these questions about the drone uh he says oh does the drone have a camera <laughs> does the drone have a camera uh how far can it go and all this kind of stuff and uh bob was a talker which is fine uh but he he gave me much information about the town that I was visiting and Bob told me that he had lived I'm moving stuff around here on my on my computer screen you guys I'm sorry that I'm not looking at you but he said he had lived in Ahihik for years he's retired truck driver so he has money uh he said he lived in Ahihik for years he was paying like five or six hundred dollars a month for rent, he's traveled all through Mexico. He strongly urged me to visit the Yucatan, Chichen Itza near Cancun. He's lived in those places, Chichen Itza, uh, and 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 he's traveled throughout Mexico. But then he found this town, and he got a brand new apartment. It had just been built, two bedrooms on top of a house with a deck on the top of that house for $200 a month. Yes, $200 a month. Uh, now, where I'm staying at now, I don't know what CMT 63 and Mark are paying for rent, but across the street, they have some new condos renting and selling and they're charging those people are charging one thousand four hundred dollars a month for two bedrooms two bathrooms one thousand four hundred dollars a month i mean my god this is mexico i mean that's that's crazy so you can drive seven miles away and you can pay $200 a month. Yeah, $200 a month. And the place, uh, let's see, I, I got to find something over here on this screen. Da, 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 oh, here we go. Here we go. Ah, uh, here we go. Here we go. We'll, we'll go up in the air. We'll point the camera down here in a second. And you're going to see, but but look at the surroundings of this town. I don't see a downside to this town. Everything was in walking distance from the plaza. When I made this video, I only walked maybe three or four blocks away from the plaza. All kinds of shops, a cultural sh center, meat shops, vegetable shops, fish shops, lots of little restaurants, a beautiful surrounding. You're surrounded by the mountains, and it was just a beautiful place, and I could live there. I could definitely live in this place and if you want to know what the name of this place is i have a hard time saying it but there is the name of the place it's about seven minutes from ahi Heek, and that's driving so and i bob was the only bob was the only expat that i saw and my cousin and i were there for about two hours hours just walking around i was shooting my videos and tulsi was taking her pictures 
Uh, but it was a beautiful little place. Uh, and so once I put down the drone, and this is Tuesday morning. This is Tuesday morning uh, around 10, 30, 11 o'clock in the morning. It's a beautiful little town. Everything's very clean. Bob says that they clean the streets every morning. Uh, and on the plaza, that, that giant plaza, he says, for Day of the Dead, they, they have a huge celebration for Day of the Dead. And they cover the plaza with flowers. The entire plaza is, is covered with flower petals. There's the main boulevard you just saw there briefly. And here is the church. The church is beautiful inside. But what I really liked was this uh, shiny brand new church bell out in front of the plaza. It, it's it, it, the, the, the uh, bell. Let, let's look at the bell. Here we go. We can get a close up of the bell itself. But uh, this thing, they'll put it up. They said that they were going to put it up in the church very shortly. But how beautiful is that? The bell replacement. Oh, what a place. It, it was uh, Senor Mexico. It was lovely and I, I'm going to briefly go inside the church just just for a minute here but look at how beautiful this church is and these murals that they had they had like uh, 10 murals five on the left five on the right and this was like uh, uh, European art the, the the murals were fantastic and the place was so colorful. This is one of the prettiest uh, churches I've been in in Mexico because sometimes when you go into a small town, uh, sometimes when you go to, to a small town, they don't have the budget to decorate their churches very nicely. But uh, this was great. This was great. Let's see. Check this out. Look at it. Look at it. It's marble and gold. Ah, uh, I, I tell you, every time you see a church in Mexico, even you, you may not be Catholic. You may be an atheist. You may be a Buddhist. There are some very friendly people over there on the side. They said hello. There you go. Hi, look at them smiling. That's the way the whole town was. Smile, smile, smile. Happy, happy, happy. And, and look, uh, I wonder what that place is like on Sunday. But anyway, it was a great town. Again, here's the name of the town. Give it a visit. Uh, but I, I bet for $500 a month, you could probably get four bedrooms, three bathrooms, uh, a yard, a carport, probably a jacuzzi too. And you're only seven minutes from Ahihik. So if you would like to see some Americans or Canadians, all you have to do is get in a taxi and spend like three to five dollars and you can see all the Americans and Canadians that you want. Okay, yes, LJ, we got 40 people in the house and 19 likes. Uh, the weekend before the 4th of July. Uh, thank you, Monica. Yeah, it's, it's, it's oh, yeah, beautiful and has exorcism when it rings. The demons flee. Yes, <laughs> tis true. If it was blessed uh, correctly and by valid priest. Now, okay, that's good, Monica. So stunning, reaching to heaven. Right on, Monica. Thank you for filling us in with that information. And again, you guys, this is my last broadcast from Ahihi this week. I pack up all my stuff and I will drive for, I hope, four and a half hours hours and I'll be in Mazatlan in my brand new apartment. Uh, it's fully furnished. I'm paying around $700 a month. Uh, 
and uh, that that'll give me time to look around and see where I really want. I signed a two-year lease to get my price to go down on the rent. So I'll be in this place for two weeks. And when I broadcast next week, when I broadcast next week, I'll be broadcasting from my new apartment in Mazatlan. And the setup will be very nice. I think you'll be very surprised at the environment that I'm going to broadcast from. And as soon as I get there, I'll get there on one day. I'm not going to tell you when because we got some changes of property going on here. But uh, when I get there, the next day, I'm just going to walk around the area where I'm living, take videos, give you guys an idea of Mazatlan, what it's like where I'm living. Actually, I'm living in a suburb uh, near the Gold Coast in Mazatlan. But the first thing I'm going to do is shoot some video on where I'm living and uh, and uh, who knows what's going to happen from there. Also, LJ, <clears throat> some new... <clears throat> Uh, LJ comes every week and uh, LJ wanted me to do a video on Rich Varney. And for those of you that don't know who Rich Varney is, is he sells real estate in Ahihik. And he puts up videos all the time on real estate. He has a British accent because he's a Brit, but he's renting and selling these condos that are right across the street. So after LJ said, Bill, you should interview Rich Barney. <clears throat> uh, you know, I was thinking I was going to be too busy, but, but then I saw Rich outside i'm uh, like i can see the street from here i saw, see all these beautiful people walking up and down the sidewalk all day so i look out i see rich and uh so i went down now this is kind of funny but i see rich he's with this couple i can hear them talking through my window right over here <coughs> excuse me i'm getting over a cold i'm sorry but i can see them talking and i can hear them talking and and their car is parked right under my window and she's saying oh yeah this is a toyota it's 20 years old uh she's and she's saying i i was a school teacher and yeah we're ready to rent or buy and all this kind of stuff so they talk and then they go into the house across the street okay now here's the good part they're in the house and you know i can see them going in and out of the place across the street and, and I'm thinking, okay, when they come out, I'm going to go downstairs and meet them. So I, because I wanted to show them my car because it's a Toyota, it's 20 years old. And I thought they would get a kick out of it. So I go downstairs, open my garage door and I hadn't seen their car. But the thing was, they had the exact same car as mine, <laughs> the exact same car, the exact same year. It was freaky. And then uh, I set an appointment to interview Rich Varney. I'm going to interview him Tuesday at 10 o'clock a.m. He does videos on, uh-oh, what's going on here? Uh, oh, the, uh, my screen's telling me something. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, so, so I meet with Rich Tuesday at 10 a.m., he usually does real estate videos. He does them all the time. Everybody in Ahihi Chapala knows Rich Varney. But this is going to be a short interview. It'll be 10 to 15 minutes. And da 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 da. And I want to talk about Rich, not about real estate. We'll talk about real estate a little bit, but I want to know how Rich came to Ahihi, why he stays here, that kind of stuff. And LJ saying we got 52 people in the house, uh, 24 likes. Okay, Monica, beautiful. Da 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 da. Monica, Jordan White. Bill, maybe you don't know the answer. Do you need to keep a USA address in order to drop part B? on social security benefits i don't think so 
I I don't think so, but it's always uh, Jordan White. It's always nice to have a USA address. I use uh, my sister's address. I've been using my sister's address in uh, California ever since I've been here. Keeping a U.S. address with somebody comes in very handy. Jim Canto, Jordan, I don't think it matters. I really don't. Uh, I, I, I agree with Jim. It does if you elect Part B, though, to match you with providers okay check that out okay say hi to rich oh yeah 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 james and rena used rich uh in their house search and he took them kayaking and touring the city he'll take care of you come on down i need to put a link i need to put a link to his contact information also since uh I, for the last two broadcasts i've been saying oh I'm working on my website. I'm working on my website. I'm going to transfer information from my YouTube channel to the website, information on attorneys, immigration attorneys, real estate people, rental people, restaurants. And uh, once I get to Matalan, I'll be a bit more settled down. Uh, I mean, I've, I, and for those of you that have followed me, for those of you guys that have been following me for quite some time, you know, since January, I've lived in four or five places. <laughs> and uh, that's that's a bit uh, uh, unsettling. So once I get to Matzatlan and I can put like right behind me on the couch, I've got a I've got a couch filled with computer equipment and cameras and all that kind of stuff. But I can put all my stuff away in a place where that stuff will be there for two years. Then I can get back to work on the website. And uh, and so uh, I think this week I'll be working on the website in Matzlan and uh, it'll be a good change. Okay. Oh. Uh oh, but I have no family or friends in the USA. Ooh, that's kind of Jordan White. That's kind of tricky. Uh, yeah. Moi, 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 name. Uh, are you driving your car to Matsalan? How far is it from where you are? Yes, I'm driving my car to Matsalan. I've never driven there before, but when I go on the tour, I've been on Robert's tour two times and all the contact information for robert's tours in the description below uh and and the way robert works good morning gracie jenkins hola gracie uh uh oh so when you go on the tour with robert it leaves ahihik at the plaza at 8 a.m so you show up at the plaza at 7 30 a.m robert has a van it seats about 16 people and uh he shows a movie halfway there uh oh uh you can charge your cell phone he's got ch uh, electricity in the van you can use r regular uh, elect uh electric cords or you can put in your usb charger into the seat right next to you and charge your phone but anyway when i've gone with robert two times it took six hours we would leave here at six uh eight in the morning get there around two o'clock in the afternoon there's an hour time change i think we go back in time but anyway the real time situation was six hours but when we go with robert we we stop twice to go to the bathroom, go to Subway, go to restaurants. So that's it. Each each of those stops takes like thirty minutes. So so I'm thinking I can drive to Matzlan, and it should only take about four and a half hours. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, I, I'm from Columbus, Ohio. Many times I would go to see my parents in Washington, D.C. That would be about a five-hour drive. So the distance from Matzatlan to Ahihik is about a drive from the middle of Ohio to Washington, D.C. 
Okay, we have 57 people in the house, 26 likes. Welcome, everyone, and thank you all for visiting. Thank you for subscribing. Let's, uh, let's check out a little bit more of these videos. Okay, now, and for those of you who, who are just showing up, this is the town that we were in. Uh, CMT 63. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Let's go back here. And he's saying, CMT 63, can I contact you through Bill? Are e moving? I am in the planning phase. Thanks. Okay, Annie, uh, look look into the description. Look in the description. Find my email address. If CM, uh, I'm sure CMT63 doesn't mind. So email me, email me, and I will email you CMT63's address, and she will probably give you her phone number. Now, CMT63, who is Chris and Mark, uh, they're doing this move the hard way, kind of, sort of. Uh, they're packing up all of their belongings. I, I mean, I think they're bringing knives, spoons, forks, equipment that Mark has, sheets, towels. They're bringing it all down, even though the place that they're staying in is fully furnished. Oh, okay, there you go. There you go. Oh, my God. I just got a donation. Let me click the magic button. Thank you so much for that donation. This is my full-time pleasure. I'll be making videos the rest of my life. I can't stop. So if you, oh, oh crap, oh, crap, oh, Dr. John, when it rains, it pours when it rains it pours and i thank you both so much this, this is what i do for a living and uh the person i'm going to take a little sidetrack here the person that i met with her name was don we were in the plaza and she was giving much i mean we talked for two hours and uh she's a very bright woman and she was saying, oh, you know, you could package your videos and sell them and and uh, charge people for information. It's like you gave some information out last week about the roofs and the weeds that grow through the roofs. And instead of putting those types of roofs, or you, yeah, he said, she says that information saved some people like thousands of dollars. That's, and you can charge him for that. And it's like. You know, I like doing this. I just like doing this and I can and and when you guys donate money, I it's greatly appreciated, but I just like it. I meet such loving people. Uh and I I'm just going to keep doing this and making videos. The people that I meet are fabulous. And again, living in Mexico is the bomb. I can't say that enough when you come down here and you live down here something in you anything and and this doesn't work for every everybody some some people are negative there are negative people out there on the planet and they'll never be happy wherever they live <laughs> but if you're open and if you're a positive person and when you come down here to live, the Mexican people are so open and friendly. They will help you out so much. And after you're here for a little while, something happens to you and you just feel, uh, it may sound corny, but you, all of a sudden you just feel, you feel full of love and joy. And uh, all that stuff that you've been going through in the United States or Canada just goes away. It's great. But anyway, let's go back here. Okay, so I'm, all, I'm right across the street from the church. And, and right now it's like 1030 in the morning, Tuesday morning. This place is full. And look at the little nicely decorated sidewalks. A little place to buy potato chips and stuff like that. 
I mean, we're, we're right across the street from the church. Look at the, it, that was almost like a Nordstrom's right there. Another little place to buy stuff. Uh, let's see here. Uh, okay. Let's see how long does this last? But it was a very quiet, little clean town. I could definitely live in this place. But let's let's check this out. You got to check this out. This yellow building is the municipal building. And I wonder if the guy that did the church paintings did these paintings of historical Mexican heroes, politicians, warriors, but they have these excellent paintings with a description and the name of who each and every one of these who each and every one of these people are it was really beautiful and again this is the mu mu municipal building all of the public uh all the pub public offices are there they had a money machine here which was very good uh, from a big bank in Mexico where you can get like $450 out at a time. I think that's about the max you can get. I mean, I could live in this town in a second. I just put up the video yesterday and the name of the place, there's the name of the place. I'm not playing with it. Dr. John pointed out that, well, Bill, in the video, you never say the name of the place. That is not even Spanish, okay? <laughs> That's like an ancient language that I haven't study, studied, so, but it was great. But thank you very much for your donations and for people that are watching the rebroadcast rebroadcast there's a donate button in the description below and you can use paypal visa mastercard or Ameri american express to support the channel okay you guys lots going on and lots more to come especially this week and next week oh okay okay now this is this is what i like so i'm i'm walking now i'm about a block away from the church and notice you will see no cobblestone no commons there there are no hills in the and look at the transportation i saw about 20 of those guys go by i mean seriously they would go by like every three minutes those guys went by uh, again it's tuesday morning around 11 o'clock that restaurant was full the town is very clean. The sidewalks were perfect. No cobblestone. And if you're thinking about building a house in the Ahihik area, I bet you could build a house here for about eighty to a hundred thousand dollars. Put it right on the outskirt of town. Save a bunch of money. Live in this beautiful place. I mean, uh, uh, or you could rent here. There goes another f transportation guy. I mean, uh, yeah. And, and see the guy on the bicycle? You can't ride your bicycle like that in Ahihik or Chapala. <laughs> the street that I live on right now, I, I'm not going to ride a bicycle on that street. And I and and uh, Skyrider and his wife Marilyn we talked we talked about bike riding uh, we talked about bike riding uh i mean oh and Pam the nurse uh she says she's not going to ride her bike she she bought one of those electric bikes but even with an electric bike in Chapala or Ahihik when you go over to the cobblestone it just makes the ride so terrible okay what what else we have okay and then now i'm about a block and a half from the church and the word right there carniceria that means meat shop we sell meat and here it is it's a small place but you can see how nice and fresh and red the meat is they probably got this off a farm 
uh, they from this morning. Uh, all these wonderful, yeah. Ouch. Uh, that there's the veterinarian shop, and the at the veterinarian shop you can buy dog food, cat food, bird food. But now, now maybe I'm up two blocks away from the plaza, two blocks away from the church. Bob says he lives about three blocks away from the plaza on the boulevard across the street from two meat shops we have fresh vegetables and i tell you what when you buy fresh vegetables in mexico prepare for a really good laugh prepare after you buy all your stuff prepare for a really good laugh uh, sometimes you can go to the, I'm going to call them the bazaars in Spanish. They're called tianguis and they will have wild prices. Like you might be able to get two and a half pounds of fresh tomatoes for like 25 cents, or you can get like, uh, two kilos of bananas. It's like five pounds for maybe 50 cents. But if you get onions and, uh, tomatoes, carrots, all that kind of stuff, be prepared to be shocked at the prices. You will laugh so hard. You'll, you'll get a whole grocery bag of vegetables and some meat and you'll pay like $10. It's, uh, it, it's Mexico is inexpensive. And this morning, okay, somebody helped me out with this, but this morning, a woman who said she's a Mexican national, uh, because in this video, I used the word cheap many times. It's even in the title of my video. It's on the thumbnail of my video also. And she said, stop using the word cheap. It's offensive to to Mexicans. Oh, okay. So I can say inexpensive. I've never heard that cheap was a bad word to use. Barato, the word in Spanish is barato. That means inexpensive. So I will remember that and I will change my language appropriately. So we got our meats and veggies and I don't know why that place is closed, but there's the market uh, and uh, they, they, they must have had like some structural problems or something. But uh, right across the street from the vegetable market is the tortillera. I, yeah, I'm messing up. But now we're going to see people making fresh tortillas. Uh, you can see that silver thing in the middle. They've got fresh dough up there at the top. And you can see fresh tortillas coming right out of the factory right here. We're two and a half blocks away from the plaza. They wrap, and these tortillas are warm. Uh, warm tortillas, and people were lined up to buy these warm tortillas. I mean, that, this is real Mexico. This is real Mexico. And right across the, uh, and here's another meat shop right next door to the tortilla place i saw about four meat shops uh yeah fresh meat if you're a meat eater it's cheap and they had fish shops but the fish is frozen because you can't eat the fish out of the lake or people do but i'm not going to do it and here's the school across the street people picking up kids and dropping off kids uh and uh, the guy in the plaid shirt he's a teacher i heard the lady call him maestro maestro that means teachers and all the children were so happy what a happy sound dr john dr john saying a good friend who is a health inspector, came to visit me in Guadalajara many years ago. It drove him nuts to see meats <laughs> hanging out in the carnaceria uncovered and without refrigeration. Yeah, it is, it is really freaky. Uh, we went, uh, me and Teresa, we went to some town 
Uh, we went to some town. Uh, oh, I forget the name of the place, but it's only about like 30 minutes from here. It's a small town. And on the plaza, this guy was selling chickens and the chickens were really big. And the chickens were just hanging from the guy's ceiling. They were really big chickens. I wanted to buy one. Teresa said, no, no, we're not buying chickens here. No, because they had flies on the chickens. Uh, so uh, whatever. Yeah. Cobblestones aren't that bad with soft tires. Bike path is fantastic. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And there is there's a very long bike path that originates in Chapala. It goes through Ahihik, and then it extends beyond Ahihik, and people ride on that path. They walk on that path. It's brand new. It has hardly any bumps. It's a cement asphalt path, and you can ride on that bike path from Chapala to Ahihik to from Ahihik to Chapala. It's a wonderful ride, but if you get off of the bike path, uh, you're going to run into cobbles, cobblestone and cars. Gracie uh, kind of freaked me out. The lady holding the baby and touching all that raw meat. <laughs> oh, what does not kill you? makes you stronger what does not kill you make you makes you stronger yeah 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 you'll run into a lot of non-refrigerated meat but at the all the places that i've gone to to buy my because uh, i just uh living with Teresa, she doesn't eat beef so we ate a lot of chicken but i'm gonna say all of the chicken and beef that we bought uh, we bought refrigerated. So whatever. Okay. So so then I'm walking around the place. And all that yellow stuff at the entrance, those are all kernels of corn. Casa de Cultura. That is the house of culture. And again, I had never been to this town before. I didn't know what anything was but i walked in here this is the cultural center uh uh those look at how happy those people are i'm a total stranger i'm a total stranger and, and those people treated me great i don't know what the deal is i don't know the significance of these uh horses in the glass boxes we have an art gallery over here I walked into this class. You have about 24, 25 people uh, studying English. At This is about 11 o'clock on a Tuesday. And I think that this is the computer lab across the way here. Uh, and then, then, I mean, this is a small town. The population is maybe 20,000 people. Uh, but they have culture here, uh, plenty, pl plenty, of, pl plenty of places to eat, places to shop, and it, it was a it was a really nice place. Now something, oh, oh this is their outdoor plaza behind the cultural center. I bet they I bet they have some really big hoopla parties going on there woo! it was i mean it was a really nice place and for i think that this place now uh john colby hi john colby great to see that you are in the house john colby in the house uh but but again here is the name of the place and you can see where it is it's like a seven minute drive from ahi Heek. it's closer to the guadalajara uh, airport you can probably drive to the airport in about 10 to 15 minutes on a good day it would be a 40 minute drive to guadalajara uh but but uh whatever uh, okay 
Okay, now uh, let's take a look at Bob again. Where is Bob? Where is Bob? Uh, I'm looking for Bob. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay, now, now I turn the other way and I turn the other way and I walk back to the plaza and and look at this boulevard the boulevard lasts about 10 blocks and it was beautiful it was super clean bob says that they cleaned the streets every morning and there were more places to eat more shops to shop from i mean uh the kind of guy i am okay okay i'm gonna pause this this is just funny right here okay you can see that place over there and it says bistro i think it says pizza or something and and you can barely see a little man sitting over there he has on a white shirt and a baseball cap and he's really hard to see and i saw the guy the guy was waving at me i waved back i had no clue who it was so I walked down the boulevard a bit more uh, just to see what's going on. They had very nice houses. Uh, it is. It's a, Russ, it's a very nice little town. And uh, so I go down here and I look at the various restaurants. Uh, I look at the houses, the dogs sleeping in the street. And when I get back to that restaurant, I, I turn around, walk the other way. When I get back to that little restaurant, it was Bob. I, I couldn't see him. I was across the street. I, I said, Bob. And uh, uh, Bob filled me in. And he says that he lives on this boulevard. These people, look, see, see the lady wave. The lady smiled and waved at me, a total stranger. Uh, here we go. I mean, uh, so the, okay. Now, uh, Steven, is there a bike path from Chapala to this place? No, there isn't. And to get to this place, uh, you're going to have to ride over a mountain and it's, it's a big mountain. Uh, yeah, you're going to have to ride over a big mountain. You're, you're pretty much you're going to have to ride there on the freeway, which is no big deal. But you're going to go, you're going to ride up a big mountain and then ride down on the freeway. That won't be a problem. You have a big berm there. John Colby. Thank John Colby. Thank you so much for your donation and supporting the channel thank you guys for supporting the channel uh love you so much um we got so much more coming up uh let's see now and then here now this that john colby thank you so much dr john thank you so much moe i probably say your name wrong but thank you so much but look at this house. I'm, I'm trying to take a picture of that house uh, through the bars. And um, uh, we saw the school. But I, and there's, another, there's more transportation right there. I saw, I must have seen 20 of those in, in two hours. I saw no taxis at all. So, so I'm walking around. I'm just, I said, oh, I wonder what's over here. Well, what what could this be? Because in Mexico, if you just walk around and stick your nose in doors and say hello to people, and it's nice if you. So th this appeared to be like a daycare center, uh, a daycare center or a preschool, and there were little kids, and you can see all the slides and the swings. Uh, but here, uh oh, here you go. Look at this thing. <laughs> yeah, the funny thing is that where the mouth is, the mouth has a net over it. So I I don't know if you can sleep in there or it's it's uh, you can jump around in there, you know. But whatever, you never know what you're going to see in Mexico. So you guys, that's what I have for you for the week. 
Um, I want to tell everyone, uh, thank you for clicking the like button. We have 54 people in the house. We have 32 likes. Uh, if you want to, feel free to click that like button. I'm getting ready to sign off pretty soon. If you would like to uh, share your appreciation for the channel, you still have time with this broadcast to give me cash. Ha, ha, ha. And next week, I will be broadcasting live from Motsit Lion for the very first time. Uh, the settings will be totally different uh, right now, I'm upstairs in Chris and Mark's bedroom. It's it's very spacious up here with a great view of the people walking up and down the street. Monica, thank you very much. Uh, uh, but uh, I'm really excited. People are emailing me. John, Dr. John uh, is sending me messages. Pamela, the nurse. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Pamela Nurse. I I'm, I'm going to digress here a little bit. Pamela Lert, Nurse and I are big Ohio State Buckeye fans. So I, I know it doesn't make any, any difference to a lot of you people, but UCLA and USC just joined the Big Ten. And the Big Ten, that's like Ohio State, Michigan, Indiana. What, what, what the heck are these California teams doing in the Big Ten? But whatever okay you guys so i'm bill the geek uh christine prowls have a great week everyone good luck with the move to Mazatlan. thank you christine and and now that they're not rioting in ecuador good luck with your plans to go there this is bill the geek broadcasting very proudly and live from ahihik mexico i'm getting ready to get out of here Annie, thank you very much. Annie, be, be sure to email me uh, shortly so I can give you CMT63's uh, connections. Happy 4th of July to everyone. Love you all. And I'll come out with another video on Tuesday with Rich Varney. And then we will go live. You're very welcome, Jim. We will go live next Saturday at 10 a.m. Central Time. Love you all. Adios, amigos.